Oh, hey, we are just getting ready for our first trip of the year. Really excited about this one. We've wanted to stay at this site for quite some time. We're headed to Concierge Camping near Chichester in West Sussex. It looks like a great site, incredible facilities, delicious looking on-site food and a bar. Is this going to be the most exclusive site we've stayed at so far? Let's find out. been really blessed with this weather it is beautiful so we are enjoying a nice cold beer and I am just browsing the menu for the food place that is here it's called not so and they do Japanese style street food my mouth is watering just reading some of these things so we have ordered sticky chili squid some prawn bao buns, some halloumi fries, some vegetable dumplings and some crispy prawn sushi rolls. I cannot wait to eat this. Um, so the idea is you make your order online and then you go across to the bar and you can pick up your food. You could either bring it back to your caravan or you could sit in the bar and enjoy it. I think we'll probably sit in the bar and enjoy a couple of cold beers. Not So is currently open on site Thursday, Friday and Saturday, serving twisted Japanese street food, sushi and katsu curry. They also offer a Wagyu beef burger which we've heard amazing things about. But make sure to get your order in early online to ensure that you get the time slot that you want. It fills up fast. If you're nearby, you don't even need to be staying at concierge camping in order to enjoy this delicious food. I got a treat for you. Okay, good boy. Where's Mac? Don't drink it, it's not a giant water bowl. Oi! We've just brought Dozer for his evening walk on the on-site dog walk and um, we didn't realise actually there's this beautiful stream that runs all the way along the edge of it and right at the very end of the field there's this beautiful collection of benches and a picnic bench that you can sit and just enjoy the atmosphere. This is a really lovely big dog walk, perfect for your evening walk or a morning leg stretcher. And backing onto this dog walk area are four lodges as well. So if you don't have a caravan, this is a really great option if you still want to come and stay here.
We are back from our walk and Dozer is giving me the dinner time stare. Yeah, okay, go on then. Okay. Okay, now we're heading off to get our dinner from Not So and enjoy a couple of drinks in the bar, hopefully. Behind reception, you'll find a hidden gem, the enclosure. Serving Japanese street food and sourdough pizzas on select nights, it's the best on-site offering we've ever seen, and the food is incredible. We're already so taken with this place that we're just having a quick look on their website to see if there's any more availability later on in the year. However, we can't remember when we had earmarked weekends away on our calendar. So we might have to wait till we get home. But top tip, this place is very popular, so book early. The undercover outdoor seating area at the bar not only makes for a fantastic social space for enjoying a few drinks, but bring in your Japanese takeaway and you've got the recipe for an awesome evening. Oh, and it's dog friendly too. We are we are. We are. We are. We are. We are. <laughs> well, we're just back from a gorgeous. Yes, it was. Yes. Gorgeous. <laughs> you looked like you were running out of steam. I was like, I'll fill the gap. No, I was. It's you were going to go on. It's, it's just. Gaps. It's you were just. Fucking just... <laughs> <laughs> hell. We had a few drinks at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's us back from the <laughs> well, that's us back from a lovely evening at the bar with some delicious food. Oh my some goodness. Of the best Japanese street food we have had in a long time. Really uh, like epic surprise. Very, very good indeed. But we are about to turn in. Tomorrow we'll give you a bit of a tour of the site, so stay tuned for that. We'll see you then. Good night. Good night. Good morning from a sunny concierge camping in West Ashling. We have enjoyed a lovely relaxing morning, a delicious breakfast, yep. and an amazing shower in the yes. waterfall, rainfall showers yep. in the shower block. Speaking of which, how about a site tour? Let's do it. <laughs> Well, it's time for the site tour, and we're gonna start off with a little look at our pitch, which is pitch number seven, Buttercup. Now, um, we have one of the smaller pitches because of the size of our outfit. We've only got a teeny tiny caravan, uh, so it's not huge, and they uh, allocate based on the size of your outfit, which makes a lot of sense. They've got some enormous pitches and some smaller ones. Now, this is a smaller one, but I have to say, we have got so much space. Look at all this room. So it's grass on three sides, these amazing tall hedges, which give you incredible privacy um, and shelter. Fully serviced, so over here you've got the water and the waste and electric point. Um, good half standing area, really flat, hardly had to level out at all. Um, this particular pitch has a bit of an east-west aspect. So this area here, uh, where I've got my little chair set up, um, was in the sun uh, yesterday evening as well. So it's been sunny this morning and it will be sunny later. And just through here, through our own little gate, we have access to the picnic area, which is gorgeous. Really lovely little uh, touch. The central toilet and shower block here is absolutely lovely. Now, I don't know if you've ever been to Disney World, but in Main Street in Disney World, they pump out a smell uh, so that it feels so just lovely. And they do the same here. Let's have a little look in the loose. So this is the gents. And as you can see, really luxurious. Spotlessly clean, absolutely everything is immaculate. 
and that is a definite theme of this site. Everything is beautifully well kept and immaculate, spotlessly clean, just an absolute delight. Now the shower blocks here are definitely worthy of special mention. Check out how luxurious this is. You've got a huge shower with a big rain head on it, lovely big mirror, which is heated so it doesn't mist over. You've got your own sink, hair dryer. You've even got a little stool. This is absolutely gorgeous. And you have Smooth FM pumped in, so you've got some bop with your bubbles. Okay, so as I have a little look at the washing up area, which is, ooh, very stylish. Very nice. And here is a little look at the laundry room. Let's see what you've got in here. So you've got tumble dryer and a washing machine, coin operated, little folding area. Oh, and an iron as well. Ah, that's a nifty little room. And of course, if you need ice for your G&T, there we go, free ice. There's a handy map here, which has some places of interest that you might want to visit, some shops, just in case you need to pop out and grab the essentials, and a really good list of some food and drink establishments. Now, we are going to try Bosom later on today, just for a little walk, and that is here. It's just a few minutes drive from where we are. Here's the chemical waste disposal point, and I've never used one of these before, but I have seen it in someone else's video, and it looks very cool. For the uh, princely sum of just two pounds, you can pop your cassette toilet in there, and it will do all of the emptying and cleaning for you. How cool is that? That is brilliant. If you want to do it the old fashioned way, here we go. <laughs> Over here you've got a huge motorhome service point, which is fantastic because often these are kind of a little bit in the way on the sort of access road around the site, but this you pull right off the road and you've got all of this space to do what you need to do. Outside of reception you've got this great seating area under cover, some lovely comfy seats to relax in, again some soft quiet music pipes in so that you can just kick back and relax, and while the um, reception is open, the bar is also open. Hidden just behind reception is the enclosure. I'll give you a look at that in a minute. But last night we enjoyed a couple of drinks and our food in the gorgeous undercover seating area. It was absolutely buzzing last night, a wonderful atmosphere. A little bit chilly outside, but in here, absolutely toasty. You can see the heat lamps above each of the tables keep you nice and cozy and you can buy your food from the place in the enclosure which we'll have a look at and eat it in there. Now the great thing about this which we didn't realize and we don't live a million miles away from here is that you don't have to be staying here to come and enjoy food and drink at this amazing little enclosure. It's open to everybody and how cool is this? So in these very cool containers, when they open up, you will find incredible Japanese street food and sourdough pizza. I mean, come on, sourdough pizza, Japanese street food, and a bar. What more could you possibly ask for? Just to the side of reception is a big parking area um, for those people coming to use the enclosure who are perhaps not staying here. You also got a couple of electrical charging points for electric cars and a Tesla charging point as well. There's also a little um, stand here, I think maybe for late arrivals perhaps. An incredible feature of this site is these enormous emperor pitches. Not only are they huge, but each one has its own little safari tent with a kitchen area, a sort of a seating area inside, cooking facilities, a large TV. They're all named after Roman emperors, obviously an emperor pitch named after Roman emperors because this area has a really strong connection to Roman Britain. We've made a video of Roman West Sussex, which we'll link above, um, which shows some of the amazing places that you can visit, including Fishbourne Roman Palace, Bignor Roman Villa, and some awesome sites in Chichester as well. 
We are on our way to Bosham, which is only a five or six minute drive from the site. It's a beautiful little village, it has a fascinating history. Allegedly, the last Saxon king, Harold of the Bayer Tapestry fame, is buried in Bosham. So there's a little known fact for you. Um, we're just gonna have a bit of a wander around. It should be low tide, because Bosham sits on the arm of Chichester Harbour. So we're gonna have a bit of a wander and have a look around. Well, we've lucked out today with this weather. <laughs> we woke up to rain this morning and now it's beautiful sunshine, which is perfect for a lovely walk along the quayside here in Bosham. We've parked up, very good value car park right in the centre of town. Top tip, this road floods at <laughs> high tide. Lots of people park down here and it is fairly common for people to get caught out and have their car <laughs> stuck in the sea. <laughs> yeah, so highly recommend using the pay and display car park that we parked in. It's like £1.90 for two hours I put on, so uh, plenty. And uh, we've got this gorgeous view across Isn't the harbour. lovely? And there is a beautiful pub um, overlooking this harbour called the Anchor Blue where you can get some gorgeous food and drinks. It's very popular. It's very popular. But it looks really nice and it overlooks the, the view here as well, so well worth a visit. And here is evidence of that high tide that we were telling you about. You could easily get caught out here and watch your car floating off down the harbour, couldn't you? In fact, this is the outflow of the Bosom Stream, which is the very same stream that runs through the dog field at Concierge Camping. So I guess if you did a very long game of poo sticks there, <laughs> raced down here, this would have come out. Bosom has a long and fascinating history. A few miles west of Chichester, this beautiful coastal village sits on a peninsula into Chichester Harbour. In 1865, a coffin containing a child's skeleton was discovered in the nave of what is now the chancel of Holy Trinity Church. It is thought to be that of King Canute's daughter, who drowned in the mill stream next to the church. Bosom is mentioned by name in the Bayer Tapestry, a reproduction of which is on display in the Holy Trinity Church. A body discovered near that of the child is rumoured to be King Harold himself, who was killed with an arrow through the eye in the Battle of Hastings in 1066, but the body has never been examined to confirm or deny this rumour. Nowadays, Bosham is a picturesque village, popular for sailing, with cafes, pubs, an arts and crafts centre and a great place for a laid-back day out. Well, we are back from a lovely couple of hours in Bosham. The sun really came out for us, so it was a gorgeous walk and Dozer had a very nice time and is snoozing heavily now. Yes, he is. <laughs> and we thought it might be the ideal time to share some of the other things that you can do in the local area if you're staying here. There are loads of things you can do. Of course, Bosham, where we've been today, is just a six minute drive away. And if you wanted to go a little bit further afield, Chichester is about five miles away and there is tons of things to do in Chichester. There's the cathedral, there's some fantastic shops, great eateries and bars. Historic Arundel, which is just 30 minutes in the car and you can check out our video linked above for some amazing things to do in Arundel. Goodwood, both the horse racing and motor circuit are very close by and if you're visiting Goodwood, I also highly recommend a visit to the Weald and Downland Museum, which is a fantastic open air uh, museum of some old buildings and things like that from ye old times in <laughs> West Sussex. Kingly Vale is a fantastic place to walk among ancient yew trees and you can climb right up to the top of the hill where there are some Iron Age burial mounds as well. And if you are looking for a long walk, then I really recommend Thorny Island. It is a beautiful, unusual coastal circuit walk. So those are just some of the things that you can do in the local area. And we will link some of our things to do in this area videos in the description box below for you to check out. And if you were staying here for a week, you could literally pack a week full of sightseeing. So you'd kind of be torn between spending the time relaxing in this beautiful campsite and visiting all the cool things there are to do. The next day.
Well, good morning from another beautifully sunny day at Concierge Camping. We are just giving Dozer one last walk around the dog field before we pack up and head home. And we thought it might be the ideal opportunity to share some of our thoughts and opinions about our stay here at Concierge Camping. And I think coming in, we had some pretty high expectations because of everything we, we knew about the site. And I think for us, it has actually really lived up to those expectations. And exceeded them, actually. And we're gonna give you a little bit of insight into some of the things that we found super special. One thing we really love about this site is this fantastic, huge, enclosed, safe dog walking area. It is spot on. The absolutely incredible toilet and shower facilities. We have really enjoyed the bar area and the food has been impeccable. If you like Japanese street food, pizza and an outdoor bar, this is a fantastic place to come. The hosting events and things like music festivals here, so definitely one to check out if that is your bag. The pitches are really spacious, absolutely immaculate. Every single one is serviced and with these hedges around you've got a great deal of privacy too. The location of this site is superb. There is so much to see and do in the local area. There is tons to occupy you in West Sussex. Don't forget to check out some of our videos that we'll link below for more in inspired ideas of places that you could go and visit. You could easily fill a week with things to do here or just sit and relax and drink a beer. The staff and everybody who run the site are wonderful, couldn't do enough for you. And we met a great couple called Andrew and Lisa, who had watched us on YouTube and uh, said hello to us. And it was lovely meeting you too. Hopefully we'll see you on another site soon. So in summary, if you're looking for an average campsite with decent facilities, that's great. But this place is next level and we've enjoyed every little bit of the extra luxury that you get here. And we think it is well worth it. And if you've enjoyed watching this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know where you think we should check out next. We love finding campsites and hearing recommendations from you. So meanwhile, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.